Shocking allegations coming from the Catholic Church, and this time it hits real close to home. Former Washington Archbishop Cardinal Theodore McCarrick is accused of sexually abusing a teen nearly 50 years ago. A report said the alleged abuse happened when he was a priest in New York. Cardinal McCarrick says he's innocent, but the investigation said the allegations are credible. And so McCarrick is now banned from any public ministry until a final decision is made. He served as priest for more than 60 years and was the Archbishop of Washington from 2001 to 2006. Our Andrea Roan has more on McCarrick's history within the Catholic Church. Theodore Edgar McCarrick, a prince of the Roman Catholic Church, came from humble beginnings. An only child, he was born in 1930 in New York City. Ted, the grade school altar boy, knew early on he wanted to study for the priesthood. After graduating from Fordham University and St. Joseph Seminary, he was ordained a priest in 1958 by New York Cardinal Francis Spellman. Let me be what you want me to be. Let me do what you want me to do. Give me the grace, give me the courage, give me the give me the, the wisdom to, to be a real instrument. Father McCarrick's intellect and leadership skills were evident from the beginning. In the 1960s, he served as Dean of Students and Development Director at the Catholic University of America here in Washington, and later was named President of CUA in Puerto Rico. In 1970, Monsignor McCarrick returned to New York and worked for Cardinal Spellman in many different positions, including adjunct education secretary. He helped found the Inner City Scholarship Fund to promote the education of the poor, particularly minorities. In 1977, he was appointed an auxiliary bishop of New York by Pope Paul VI. Then in 1981, he was named the founding bishop of the new Diocese of Metuchen. Five years later, he was installed as Archbishop of Newark. It was where he first welcomed Pope John Paul II on his first visit to the United States. In 2001, the new year brought Archbishop McCarrick to the nation's capital, when Pope John Paul II appointed him the fifth Archbishop of Washington, succeeding Cardinal Hickey. Two weeks later, he was elevated to the rank of Cardinal. He never lost his touch with the people, going where they were, spreading the good news of the gospel in seven different languages. He was quoted as saying the church can't be authentic unless it takes care of the poor, the newcomers, the needy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In 2006, Pope Benedict accepted his resignation once Cardinal McCarrick reached the mandatory retirement age of 75. The Archdiocese of Washington reacted with sadness and shock to the news of the sexual abuse allegations. At the same time, it renewed its commitment to care for victims of abuse, to ID and report abuse, and work to prevent abuse before it happens.